Hey man, what it is? This is Dean and I am your host and this is By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean By Any Means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. Devin Haney fans, when are y'all going to listen to your boy? Now, I done told you 40 mil bill, what they call them. What you going to do when 50K is all you do? Well, the California State Commission going to say that your fight should have been canceled. Let's talk about it, people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just doing some comedy stuff. I'm just doing some comedy stuff. That's all. But follow me, y'all. California State Commission, ever since y'all know Devin Haney been complaining and, and doing everything under the sun when it comes to the whole Ryan Garcia situation, I don't have to get into that. Y'all know what he's doing when it comes to the New York State Commission and all of that. I ain't going to get into that either. California State Commission now, Ryan Garcia and others are trying to put pressure on the California State Commission to either um, suspend Devin Haney or him suffer some type of repercussion for whatever it is him breaking the rules as far as coming in too heavy. Now, Devin Haney fans, y'all should have never opened this can of worms. Y'all should have never opened this can of worms. Unfortunately, we got to go down this road because no matter if you think that it's a East Coast, West Coast thing, Drake and Kendrick, Pac and Biggie, that's not how actual business works, though. The California State Commission is California. New York State Commission is um, New York State Commission. But one thing that they going to be in congruent, they are not going to allow these boxers to sit up here and start suing commissions and do all of these things. They will be on one accord when it comes to that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, Devin Haney, like I told y'all, came in 3% heavier than he was supposed to against Regis Prograde. Now, they're making a whole big deal about it because Devin Haney opened this can of worms when it came to Ryan Garcia, the IVs, the weight, the PDs, all of it. And this is what happens when you the pot calling the kettle black. Now, before we even knew that Ryan Garcia had popped dirty for um, PDs or, or performance enhancers or whatever you want to call it, okay, eye screen and all of these things, right? Devin Haney fans, y'all was sitting up here complaining about the weight and that Ryan Garcia came in too heavy. But first, y'all said that would be the reason that he would lose. That's first of all, y'all said the man was crazy, he was a drunk, he was out of shape, don't take the sport of boxing seriously. That's first. Then, after Devin Haney got beat up, now y'all tried to come out and say, oh, he cheated, he knew he wasn't going to make the weight the whole time, blah, zay, blah, he, um, he, he, he broke the rules, Devin should have stopped the fight the whole, the whole nine. Well, guess who else broke the rules in the same fashion that Ryan Garcia broke the rules in? Devin Haney, because rules are rules. That's why they had the same day weigh in for when they come in the ring to see how heavy the fighter is. That's something they do in California. Where Devin Haney wanted this fight to be, it was only in California and San Francisco against Regis Prograve because that's what Devin Haney wanted. Correct? If you understand, type understand. Let me stop trolling. Uh, Devin Haney now. It's under fire from the California State Commission about him coming in um, too heavy. And I think that they need Regis Prograve to make a spew about it himself in order for them to probably do anything. But we'll see how that goes. Because y'all know when it comes to rules and rule books, I'm not about to get into all that. Shout out to manager Marty. Shout out to Fanon and my big dogs. That stuff they do. I'm not about to get into that. What I am about to get into, though, what I am about to get into is I told y'all this. I don't know the ins and outs as far as the laws and this, that. What I do know is that that man came in too heavy against Regis Prograve the same way y'all complained about Ryan Garcia coming in too heavy. When the pot calling the, the pot black kettle, kettle, pot kettle. Do you understand? Y'all have a nerve and this is hypocrisy at its finest. Both guys broke rules in their fights. 
But guess what one only have in common? Devin Haney is the common denominator. He did it against Regis. He tried to wait bully Regis. He broke the laws and litigations and rules against Regis. It is what it is in a state that he requested that they fight in, which means is Devin Haney knew and was well aware that he could not come in 3% higher than the state commission allowed. That is a fact, people. So are you going to complain about weight now? Because Regis could complain about weight. And I told y'all this was a possibility. I told y'all this was the case. But now you're going to see it even more because Devin Haney opened his mouth and started complaining, not only just about the PEDs. That's one thing. He started to go a step further as far as all the other stuff involved in the fight that he agreed upon. So this is the perfect example of the when your chicken's coming home to roost and how it's looking like Devin Haney might have to sit on that L. I could just smell it in the air, but I just like Beanie Siegel. But I just think that it's, um I could just, I, for some reason, I got a feeling that Ryan Garcia probably not going to get suspended from none of this. And Devin Haney is playing a big factor in all of this now. Now he's under fire. The same way Ryan Garcia is under fire from the New York State Commission, Devin Haney is now under fire from the California State Commission because they both, both broke rules as far as when it comes to weight. One weighing in the fight on um, the actual weigh-in and one coming into the fight too heavy. Either or, you're not supposed to do either. Either or gives you an advantage. Either or is not professional. Either. Either or is breaking the rules. Either or can have repercussions. If it couldn't have repercussions, they wouldn't have the rule in place. And that's what I've been told y'all. Why would they even let it? If you're going to make a deal, why, why have a rule in place if you're not going to enforce it? There's no need to add a rule in place if you ain't going to enforce it. It's like jaywalking. Take jaywalking out of the law books. There's no reason to have jaywalking in place. Y'all don't charge nobody with jaywalking. Stop it. There's no reason for a rule to be in place that you won't enforce. He didn't come in 1% higher and then come back to what I told y'all in my videos prior. Devin Haney came in 4.2 pounds too heavy. Go do the math yourself or go watch my old videos. Devin Haney came in 4.2 pounds too heavy. Ryan Garcia only weighed in three pounds too heavy. So are we going to complain about weight now or are we going to complain about weight then? Because I already know it's going to be your excuse if Ryan Garcia don't get suspended. Y'all going to complain about the weight. The problem is this has come down now. So y'all other excuse, y'all best bet is that Ryan Garcia, this comes back positive and Ryan Garcia gets suspended. That is your best bet as Devin Haney fans. But if that doesn't happen, if Ryan Garcia doesn't happen, ha um, that doesn't happen to Ryan Garcia. And Devin Haney got to take sit on this loss. Y'all will, will not, not have that weight excuse because Devin Haney broke rules and litigations as far as when it comes to Regis Pro Grace. I told y'all before, Devin Haney was not supposed to come in that fight no heavier than 161. No heavier than 160. 160.5 probably was the heaviest he was five. He blew up 25 pounds, which is illegal. But y'all are okay with Devin Haney doing these things. As long as his Devin Haney breaking the rules, it's cool. And y'all will make excuses for it. And I'm glad that they're, I'm glad that they kicking up dust. I am glad that they looking under beds for the scary monsters because y'all, y'all earned this. I keep telling y'all Devin Haney fans, y'all earned every single part of this yes y'all did y'all cannot keep your mouth shut and y'all keep keep running your mouth now look what's happening all that running your mouth now look what's happening Devin Haney under fire same from they both under fire think of how crazy is that is that they both under fire Devin is and it's funny because what makes it even worse is Devin is under fire for a fight that he already has for it so he can't even go backwards and try to have revisionist history now. He wasn't saying any of that prior to um, Ryan Garcia fight. 
Y'all better hope that Ryan Garcia gets suspended. Because even if it come back positive and they can't prove that he did it, you know, intentionally and all of these other things, we've seen crazier things happen. And if Devin Haney got to sit on that L, y'all, y'all will not have that weight excuse. And then y'all would really, really, really have to sit on that L. 40 mil bill, what they call them. Y'all ain't proved me wrong about nothing on this YouTube yet. I keep telling y'all that. I keep telling y'all that, but y'all hard-headed. You don't listen. You're hard. Frequent flyer, do you hear me? Y'all are hard-headed. You don't listen. Now you got to pay the piper, man. So, you know, all that all that pressure they was trying to put on Ryan Garcia about him being unprofessional and all of that, Devin Haney is just as unprofessional as Ryan Garcia. I'm just using your definition, y'all. Don't shoot the messenger. I am just using your definition. Y'all know what this is, right? Deem by any means. I'm just doing some comedy stuff. 